Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Meg here from the Nutrition Program at the YMCA. Today we're going to read the book Pizza Counting by Christina Dobson. This book comes from the Healthy Schools, Healthy Communities curriculum developed by Michigan Fitness Foundation. When you have pizza at your house or at a restaurant, how many pieces is it divided into? And how many toppings would you put on a pizza? Let's read this book and see if we can find out. If you think pizza is delicious, say delicioso. That's how people say delicious in Italy. Where the first pizza was made. This is a plain cheese pizza. It has zero pieces on top. It has only crust, cheese, and tomato sauce. The first pizza had no sauce because there were no tomatoes. Explorers brought the first tomato seeds from America to Europe in the 1500s. For the next 200 years, most people thought tomatoes were poisonous. Let's face it, a tasty pizza will put the smile on, a, on the face of any hungry kid. A plain pizza is like a blank piece of paper, a great place to create a picture. The picture on this pizza is made from mu one mushroom, two olives, three stripes of green bell pepper, and four slices of tomato. Bell peppers come in five colors, green, yellow, orange, red, and purple. Would you like to be a purple pepper eater? You could celebrate the 4th of July with this patriotic pizza. Its flag design is made of five eggplant stars, six red onion stripes, seven cheese stripes, and eight red pepper pieces. Pizza has become an American, as American as apple pie. There are more than 60,000 pizza restaurants in the United States. Five plus six is 11. Six plus eight equals 14. Seven plus eight is 15. And five plus seven is 12. Once upon a time, people decided that pizza was the perfect snack food. It's a tasty, quick meal, especially if it's a clock pizza with nine green peppers on it, 10 tiny meatballs, 11 red onion stripes, and 12 salami slices. It only takes 10 minutes to bake a pizza in a very hot oven of about 550 degrees. In Italy, the bakers sometimes use red hot volcanic rocks to heat their pizza ovens. 9 plus 10 is 19. 10 plus 11 is 21, 10 plus 12 is 22, and 11 plus 12 is 23. When a surprise is discovered too soon, we say that the cat is out of the bag. This cat is out of the box, a pizza box. Would it surprise you to discover a cat pizza with 13 onion stripes, 14 chive pieces, 15 pepperoni slices, and 16 basil leaves? Some pizzas make a perfect dessert. They have jam instead of tomato sauce and pieces of fruit on top. 13 plus 14 is 27. 14 plus 15 is 29. 14 plus 16 is 30. And 15 plus 16 is 31. People all over the world eat pizza. In some places, people like tuna, coconut, bean sprouts, or even pickled ginger on their pizza. Would you like this Planet Earth pizza with 17 stripes of green bell pepper, 18 chive pieces, 19 pepperoni slices, and 20 onion stripes. The largest pizza ever made was 140 feet across. 17 plus 18 equals 35. 18 plus 19 equals 37. 17 plus 19 equals 36. And 19 plus 20 equals 39. This pizza has a hundred pieces on top. It is that 20 pieces each or five different kinds? 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 equals a hundred or 20 times five equals a hundred. Maybe it's 10 pieces each or 10 different kinds or is it 25 pieces each of four different kinds? Any way you look at it, it adds up to a total of 100 pieces on top of this super gigantic mega pizza. If you were throwing a pizza party for a giant, you might make 10 of these super giganto mega pizzas with 100 pieces on top of each. How many total pieces would that be? 100 and 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 is 500. 500 plus 500 is? 1,000 pieces on top. 
If you had a really big party, you might need a hundred pieces with a hundred pieces on each. How many pieces would you need in total? One hundred times a hundred is ten thousand pieces on top. It would take more than one hundred and thirty one million twelve inch pizzas to circle the earth at the equator. One hundred and thirty one million that's a lot of pizza. But we, we've eaten more than 130 million pizzas each year in America. You would need more than 1 billion 260 million 12 inch pizzas placed crust to crust to build a pizza path to the moon. 1 billion 260 million Americans eat more than enough pizza to reach the moon. All of us together eat about 2,375,000,000 pieces each year. All this talk about pizza could make you hungry. You could cut a pizza in half so that it was two equal parts. If you have a whale on, of an appetite, you might eat half a pizza. Anchovy pizzas are the least popular with people, but whales might like them. A whale can eat a ton of anchovies a day. That's 2,000 pounds, which is enough to make about 16,000 anchovy pizzas. A pizza that is cut into three equal slices is divided into thirds. The Triceratops had three horns on his head, and this Triceratops pizza has three pieces. Perhaps the Triceratops became extinct because it didn't eat healthy foods. Pizza is a healthy food with lots of protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, and calcium. A pizza that is cut into four equal slices is divided into fourths. Could you be really lucky to find this four-leaf clo clover pizza for dinner? Uh, for a green pizza sauce, some people like pesto, which is usually made of basil leaves, olive oil, grated cheese, pine nuts, and garlic. A pizza that is cut into five equal slices is divided into fifths. Would you buy this nickel pizza for five cents? Pizza used to cost a nickel a slice, but now it costs 30 times as much. Even at today's prices, pizza is a good value. A pizza that is cut into six equal slices is divided into sixth. To share this target pizza with two friends, you could aim for two pieces each. Pizza chefs need a good aim. Some pizza makers flip the dough up into the air and it spins. The dough stretches out from the center into the thin circle. A pizza that is cut into eight equal slices is divided into eights. If you eat four eights of this flour pizza, you will still have one half left. Pizza crust is made of yeast, salt, water, and flour. Not flour, but flour. This train pizza is divided into tenths. If you ate two slices each day, it would last for five days. If you're really hungry, you could eat five slices for two days. Chew and chew. The first pizza delivery was to a queen. When Queen Margar Margarita of Savory visited Naples, she ordered the baker to bring her pizza today. You can order a pizza on a telephone over or over the internet. This calendar pizza is divided into twelfths. This year, the year is divided into 12 months. If you eat three pieces, you could eat an entire summer, winter, fall, or spring. October is nat National Pizza Month, but any day of the year is a good day to celebrate the pizza. Now think about being really hungry for pizza. Which sli size slice would you rather have? One third or one fourth? One sixth or one eighth? Two thirds or two sixths? Three twelfths or one fourth. These are pizza fractions. Halves and thirds and fourths and fifths and sixths and eighths and tenths and twelfths or one whole pizza. So what food groups make up a plain cheese pizza? What were some of the vegetable toppings that they used in this story? How would putting vegetables on your pizza help to fill half of our plates with fruits and vegetables? 
what food group does sausage and pepperoni go into? And what other proteins can go on a pizza? Are there any food groups that we haven't talked about? What's some kind of fruit that you could sometimes put on a pizza? I know I like pineapple on my pizza sometimes. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. See you soon.